Hey everybody, I took the liberty of making this article exciting because I think it'll be more interesting and it might even be funny. I'm gonna pretend like I'm not part of the fringe and I don't know what's going on and I'm selling this to people because that's what the government's going to do. When you hear about the second mortgage, the second loan you can put on your home that's not a HELOC, that's fixed, it's gonna sound like a treasure chest full of opportunity. I've even got that in my notes. So hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell. At the end of the video, we're gonna talk about the differences between a HELOC and the new and improved second home mortgage, or second mortgage on your home. And we'll talk about the top 10 things that people usually buy when they get a HELOC. Because this is no different. They're gonna use it the same way. They're gonna buy this much more than they can actually afford in an economy that's dying and being held up with smoke and mirrors. Now, get ready for unprecedented economic boost that will leave you in awe. Imagine a move that can inject nearly one trillion into the pockets of consumers. The potential to skyrocket the mind-blowing two trillion by autumn. It's not a dream, it's a proposed game changer that could revolutionize the U.S. economy. <laughs> Freddie Mac, the government-sponsored mortgage agency, you had me at government-sponsored, is making a bold move by entering the second secondary mortgage market. This move has the power to unlock $980 billion into home equity homeowners. Can you imagine the possibilities? It's like discovering a hidden treasure filled with wealth and opportunity that you can strap to your ankle with a chain and jump in the ocean. <laughs> and it'll pull you down into the abyss. Okay. That wasn't part of it. Let's not forget our senior citizens who have been hit hard by rising costs and inflation with limited savings and financial vulnerabilities. They are in a desperate need for a lifeline. By pulling their equity out of their house to pay their bills because it's no longer an option to use their social security. Wow, it's really hard to be funny about this. but I'll keep going. If Fannie Mae and Jeannie and Freddie Mac follow, this could lead to a secondary home equity loan market that is soaring up to three trillion. It's a wave of economic stimulation that will leave you exhilarated. All right, guys, here's what they're talking about. Let's get down to the nuts and bolts. I had to go look this up for myself I'll post the PDF on the Twitter, the Financial Purper Twitter, and pretty much cover it here. But let me briefly explain what the secondary mortgage is. A closed-in second mortgage allows the homeowner to take a new loan secured against their home's equity while still maintaining their existing first loan. So first loan, low interest rate, keep it get a secondary mortgage, not to be confused with a HELOC, that's like a credit card that you pay back and you know you can pay it back and then pull it out. This is a one-time deal. And they fix the rate, I don't know how long, 10 or 15 years maybe. And, and you can use that for, to stimulate the economy. That's what it's for. It's, it's a, a way to buy votes, election year, a, a tax that everybody loves, that nobody votes against. It's stimulus. It's another quantitative easing while they're burning money. They're trying to tighten, but they can't do that. They can't tighten it. That'll crash the economy. Let's just find a way to print money out. Well, we can, we can encourage people by taking a second mortgage out so they can pay their bills and eat and put gas in their car. Well, then what? Downsides. Just going to sum it up. Borrowers. We'll have higher debt, increasing default risk, especially if home prices decline. Nobody ever thinks about that. The housing market's just gonna go up forever and ever and ever and never turn around. I personally don't think so, but let me know if you do. The 10 most common things people buy with their home equity loan, or maybe the new secondary mortgage. Home improvements, I hear that a lot. Home improvements, that makes some sense, you know, but 
Just know uh, consolidating debt would be really good. And that's the second one, debt consolidation. Uh, you got a lot of it, several credit cards that are 200% interest or you've got other loans that are high interest. Maybe you can consolidate and pay a fixed interest for 10 or 15 years. Maybe that'd help. Don't listen to me, I'm not a financial advisor. Education expenses. You can pay your college off, medical bills, starting or expanding a small business. Vacations, this is my personal favorite. You can take a vacation and have recreational vehicle, bleh, vehicles and boats with your home equity. Yeah, it's great. Uh, number seven was major purchases, appliances, vehicles again. Eight is emergency funding. Nine is cash flow needs during unemployment. For Okay, cash flow is something that an asset spits out after it pays all of its, its note. Rental property, it's gotta pay the note, the insurance, the, everything that it takes. And then whatever's left over is the cash flow. This is not cash flow. This is 100% debt. Widespread defaults tied to home, falling home prices. I've already said that, but I wrote it down again. Widespread defaults tied to falling home prices. I think that is in the cards. Now, what is the difference exactly between the HELOC and the secondary mortgage? Number one, secondary mortgage, number one, fixed amount borrowed all at once. Number two, borrower owes interest on the full amount from the start. Three, cannot make additional withdrawals after closing. So you, it's not it's a lot different than a HELOC actually. Interest rates is typically fixed for the life of the loan. Five, I forgot to number that one. <laughs> Requires fixed monthly payments of both principal and interest paid off full after a fixed term, 10 or 15 years. I don't, I don't know what the terms will be, but that is the second mortgage. Now the HELOC, HELOC acts like a credit card against your home. Pull it out, put it back in, pull it, you know, it's a line of credit. Has a revolving line of credit, payments vary with the balance, and rate may rise or fall, variable. So this is the plan to stimulate the economy. Please do not miss the comments. People are gonna put in the comments how they made it through 2008, what they had to do through 2008, please do, uh, because this is what we're starting to look at. But there's a much more sinister plan than that. I believe this is the play that you will own nothing and rent everything and the government, what do they call herself? The, the government sponsored mortgage finance agency will be the one that bundles these up and sells them to investors. Scary, scary times. People are gonna do whatever they have to do to eat. People are gonna feed their kids. They're going to put gas in their car. They're going to, if it's credit cards, if it's whatever, but why wouldn't they do that? What investor like Freddie Mac, Fannie Mae, who would say no to that? Hey, you know, get, they're in a lot of debt now, but we could, we could put them in a little bit more debt and you could sell those to other investors. And when the home prices come down, hey, you're sitting fat. The government's gonna bail you out. I think it's a sinister plan. I don't trust them, and I wanted to let you guys know. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'll see you in the next one. Later.